Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? Why? Because hmm? I need to properly Id identify you. You're not identifying me. I am, I am identifying you. You're not going to identify I'm me. I'm going to identify you. No, you're not. Can you lower your uh, passenger window? Nope. You parked here with no lights on. So why can't I park here? Sir, this gentleman needs your license. It's not happening. Sure. Not happening. Give me your okay. supervisor. We're gonna we're gonna pull you out of the car. If That's fine ready. with me. Okay, let's do it. Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we take a look at police interaction videos and discuss our constitutional rights. Today's video is another example of cops retaliating on people that hold them accountable. This interaction comes to us from the channel Always420 Audits. Be sure to subscribe to his channel and let him know I sent you over. In this video, he is believed to be unlawfully arrested by the Glendora Police Department in the state of California for refusing to show identification. They say they needed to obtain identification because he was parked in a non-parking area, but there are no signs to be seen from the area in which this interaction takes place. It seems like these cops are trying to flex authority over someone because he stopped to hold these cops accountable. Check out this interaction and let me know what you think below in the comments section. Hey sir, how's it going? Pretty good brother, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm Officer Lib, uh, Glendora Police Department. The reason I pulled you over is that there's no stopping anytime here. There's no signs? There's a sign right there, and there's a sign a up Sign there. where? Right behind on the other side of Vermont. On the other side? Yeah. So there's not one on this side? There's a sign right there, right in front of Glendora. But there's nothing here saying no parking. From that sign to that sign, it says no stopping. There's no sign. I can't see it by a tree. There's a sign right there, sir. Where? Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? Why? Because hmm? I need to properly Id identify you. You're not identifying me. I am, Id I am identifying you. You're not going to identify me. I'm going to identify you. No, you're not. Can you lower your uh, passenger window? Nope. You can call Kodavik and he'll know who I am. Sir, can I have your ID, please? No, sir. No? Why not? There's no reason to. I'm properly detaining you. For what? Hmm? You're not allowed to There's stop. no parking signs. Can I get out and look? No, you cannot. Why? Because there's a sign right there and a sign right there. There's no sign here. There's no sign here on this street, on this block, from that block to that block. There's no sign saying no parking. There's a sign that says no stopping right there. There's no sign. I'm looking at it dead right here. There's no sign says no stopping you guys were parked here which i got you on film with no emergencies on that's fine so why is that fine i was consensually contacting somebody but you didn't have emergencies on so there's it's not a consensual uh contact you have to have emergencies on if you're doing uh due diligence in your job okay. i know that because i've got 70 years of law enforcement and one of them one of them's a fallen officer in my family okay. so I, I i know it okay so then you know that you need to properly identify yourself. Not if I haven't done anything wrong. You are, you are doing something currently wrong right now as we speak. No, I'm not. There's a no stopping anywhere sign. There is no no stopping sign with invisibility. If it's covered by a tree, that's on your guys' city to cover uncover it by a tree. Which that is covered by a tree where I'm sitting. As we can see here, there is no no parking signs. The only there's, sign you can see from here where I'm parked is the village. So give me your supervisor. Let me have your supervisor. I'm not getting my supervisor. Give, give me your supervisor now. I'm not getting my supervisor. I, I, I'm not doing this. Give me your supervisor. I'm holding you guys accountable, and you guys want to do, um, turn around and try to mess with me. So, nope. I'm Get not, your supervisor. I'm not saying another word. I'm Fifth not, Amendment, Fourth Amendment, First Amendment, Fourteenth Amendment, Eighth Amendment, 242, 241, 1983. Okay. I'm not trying to mess with you, sir. I, hey, all I'm doing was watching to make sure you guys weren't doing anything to that homeless lady. That's all I was doing. That's if you guys don't want to be held accountable. That, nothing's wrong with that, but you got to park your vehicle legally. But there's nothing here saying no parking. There's a sign up there, there's a sign up there, and you're blocking the roadway, clearly. You guys were too, and you guys didn't have emergency lights on. We have the legal right to No, do so. not without emergency lights. If you're performing your duty, then you have to have emergency lights on. I'm not here to argue with you. The officer asked for your registration. I'm not giving it. I'm not giving it. Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor. I'm, I'm his direct supervisor. I, I don't get your supervisor. I've got <laughs> 70 not, years. I got 70 <laughs> years of law enforcement in my life. My mom, my dad, my stepmom is a fallen officer. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, like I told you, sir. 
I'm, my condolences. I'm extremely sorry for the loss of your I'm not worried about that. You don't have to be okay. sorry. It happened a lot of years ago, and thank, but I, I didn't say that. Sorry. Thank you very much for, for saying sorry. Okay. But I am not giving my ID up because I was sitting here making sure you guys were not messing around okay. with the homeless lady. There's no parking signs right here. There's nothing visible. You have to have it visible. That's, that's state law that you have to have signs visible by the state. If they're being covered by trees, that's on the city to remove them from the sign so people like myself and then it, and pull it's, over. And it's your responsibility not to block the roadway either. I'm not blocking the roadway. There's nothing here that says no parking. You guys were parked here at the same time with no emergency lights on. If you guys are doing your duty, you have to have your emergency lights on. So there's no difference in me being parked here or you guys being parked here with no lights. Plain and simple. There's no, there's no difference. You guys can't break the law. You parked here with no lights on. So why can't I park here? Sir, this gentleman needs your license. It's not happening. Not happening. Give me your okay. supervisor. We're going we're gonna to pull you out of the car. If That's fine right. with me. Okay, let's do it. Come out. Put your hands behind your back. You can just leave all that in the car. You're not going to stop me from fucking... Um, well, we're going we're gonna, to we're right gonna, gonna put you in handcuffs, so we're going to take this out of your Why? hand now. Drop it. Why? Put your hands on your back. You can get my ID right there. Okay. I want your supervisor. I told you I'm here. You haven't done nothing wrong. When I ask you for your ID, you just I haven't done anything wrong. I told you. Dude, you guys were parked here too. That's all I was doing is you guys were parked here too. I was just watching you guys. My wallet's right there. All right, come over here, sir. Now that you've seen this video, what do you think of it? To me, it seems as if this incident appears to be less about enforcing a parking violation and more about an attempt by these officers to flex their authority over someone who dared to hold them accountable. It's crucial to remember that holding law enforcement accountable is not only a right, but a necessary duty for a functioning democracy. The United States was founded on principles of government accountability, with the very essence of the First Amendment being the protection of free speech, particularly when it comes to scrutinizing those in power. Throughout history, we've seen how unchecked authority can lead to abuse. Consider the case of the LAPD's Rampart scandal in the late 1990s, where widespread corruption within the anti-gang unit was exposed, involving evidence planting, wrongful arrests, and excessive force. It was only through the brave actions of whistleblowers and persistent media coverage that these abuses were brought to light. This scandal prompted significant reforms, proving that accountability and transparency are essential to maintaining public trust and preventing the misuse of power. This is why recording police encounters and demanding accountability are so important, these actions not only protect individuals from potential misconduct, but also serve as a reminder to law enforcement that they are not above the law they swore to uphold. Thank you for watching today's video, and don't forget to subscribe to the links in the description.